scare disrupted Lancaster on Saturday. Some residents were evacuated from their homes. Well, tonight we know what was in that suspicious package at the library. In the end, the contents could not have been less threatening. Ireland Viscount here with our new information, Ireland. Valerie Alicia, during a pre-planned sweep before Drag Story Hour with Miss Amy at the Lancaster Public Library, a suspicious box was found. Officials confirming it was not a bomb. Tonight, we know what it was. I've been doing this program with Lancaster Pride for years at this point, and nothing like this has ever happened. Lancaster City Bureau of Police have confirmed that coloring books were in the suspicious package flagged by canines on Saturday that led to the drag story hour with Miss Amy being canceled. It's possible that, you know, any of those packages through the Postal Service could have been in touch with something that uh, that their noses are trained for uh, explosive detection. Law enforcement says this was a package from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, adding a Lancaster Public Library employee was expecting this package and that there is no foul play. The important thing is that we utilize precautions to keep everybody safe. This was not the only part of Lancaster County with evacuations. Police say more threats were made by email, claiming explosive devices were planted near North Lime and North Queen Streets. People were evacuated in that area as well. I'm disappointed and disheartened that things went the way they went and no one should have to experience what happened on Saturday at all. It's insane that something that was supposed to be so wholesome and fun was greeted with such hatred. The city police, along with the Lancaster County District Attorney's Office, continue to investigate into who is responsible for the emailed bomb threats. They warn it might not be a quick resolution. It's not like it is on TV. Sometimes uh, it can be one of those situations where um, there can very quickly and simply uh, be a, a suspect identified in a situation like this. But there's other times where it's a whole lot more uh, difficult because of technology and how um, technology can, you know, sometimes mask or keep someone anonymous. As officials investigate, they ask anyone with any information to contact its department. Valerie.